In terms of tons of cargo shipped and nautical miles travelled, Australia is the world's fifth largest shipping nation. Australia has some of the most sensitive marine areas and coastlines in the world. To assist the shipping industry make safe and efficient passages around the Australian coastline, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, or AMSA, provides a Marine Aids to Navigation Network, or ATON. The ATON are used as a key navigational tool by mariners. By maintaining and improving this service, AMSA contributes in a tangible way to make coastal navigation safer and help prevent loss of life and marine pollution. AMSA currently has an ATON maintenance program, which is implemented through an external contractor who provides all of AMSA's ATON and site maintenance, as well as fault and failure response services. The network is made up of approximately 500 visual and electronic aids to navigation, or ATON, at approximately 400 sites around Australia. AMSA currently has a contract for a dedicated emergency towage vessel, or ETV, capability that provides coverage of an area from just south of Cairns to the Torres Strait. The current vessel has its home port in Cairns, but spends the majority of its time patrolling at sea, available for emergency towage tasking by AMSA if a maritime casualty occurs. The ETV is currently also used for maintenance of AMSA's ATON in the region, about 100 days per year. The following vision shows a buoy deployment and retrieval training exercise by the crew of the ETV and AMSA's current ATON maintenance contractor. Buoy maintenance is an important ATON maintenance activity undertaken by the ETV. Now that the buoy and other ATON equipment are safely stowed, they can be transported to the buoy's deployment site. The Torres Strait lies off the northeastern tip of the Australian continent. The strait connects the Arafura and Coral Seas. Many ships on international voyages travel through the Torres Strait. To ensure maritime and environmental safety, AMSA has numerous ATON to assist ships navigating the area. A number of ATON are only accessible by helicopter or boat due to their extremely remote location. Many of them are situated on uninhabited islands, or in the case of Hammond Rock in the Torres Strait, on top of rocks jutting out of the water. Strong tidal streams, thunderstorms and occasional cyclonic activity are experienced in this area. Established in 1901, the Cape Byron Lighthouse located in Byron Bay is the most easterly lighthouse in Australia and is still one of the country's most powerful lighthouses. The lighthouse is not only an important aton for shipping, but it is an excellent example of a heritage site which needs to be maintained regularly. The lens and light source of the lighthouse sit in a mercury bath that provides a near frictionless bearing for rotating the large lens arrangement. Much of the equipment the lighthouse used when it was a manned station is now kept in the museum in the lower part of the lighthouse building. All the equipment is now redundant due to modern automated systems. However, it is still on display for tourists and enthusiasts to view. This video gives an overview of AMSA's aids to navigation network and the remote nature and access challenges associated with many of the sites. It also outlines some of the responsibilities and tasks that the ATON maintenance contractor is required to perform. AMSA's ATON network plays a key role in the safe and efficient transit of shipping around Australia's coastline, particularly through some of the world's most environmentally sensitive areas.